is up everybody, Diana Marchena Garcia here with a brand new video where we will be looking at my top 9 tips and tricks for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm very excited about this video because there were a couple of things that drove me crazy about this phone and after some digging I found some functions that really improved my experience which I would like to share with you so that they will hopefully improve your experience as well. This video is going to be part 1 of 2 videos. Here we will be talking about the best functions and tricks that this phone has. And in the second video we're going to talk about the best camera features. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. The second video will be uploaded very soon. Alright, let's get started. Number 1. The first thing that I want to talk about are the gestures. I think that if you learn these first it will quickly make your life a lot easier. First we have the reachability gesture. Swipe down so you can reach everything on the top of your screen when using this phone with one hand. This does come in very handy with such a big phone. Swipe up for home, swipe up and hold for recent apps and switch seamlessly between apps using the bar at the bottom. Number two, typing. When typing, double tap to select one word, triple tap to select a sentence or a paragraph. Tap and hold on the cursor to view options like select all, pinch in to copy, pinch out to paste, swipe with three fingers to undo and redo, use the cursor in screen or press and hold the space bar to control the cursor. Quickly add numbers or symbols without switching the keyboard by holding the numbers button and swiping to the number or symbol you need. Number 3. Use the back tab. To access the back tab, go into the settings to accessibility, then touch and at the bottom, back tab. Here you can set up a double tap and a triple tap however you want. I prefer to use double tap to mute and triple tap for screenshot. Number 4. Managing your apps. What I really like is the option to keep my home screen clean. First, you can put the apps that you want to keep off your home screen in the app library. This way they stay out of sight but are easily accessible. Another way to keep your screen tidy is to hide pages. First long press on the home screen until your apps wiggle, then press on the dots below. Here you can select what pages you want hidden or shown. Number 5. Next up I want to talk about some of my favorite widgets. From the home screen, swipe to the right for the widgets and have a look around. Press edit and then on the plus icon in the top left to add new widgets. My favorite ones are over here, the widget for battery status, where I can have a glance to see how far the batteries are for all of my connected devices. I also like to have the weather and the calendar readily available. Number 6 is the option to mute a call by swiping up and clearing your screen. Instead of having to wait till the call is over, you can just continue what you were doing and if you eventually decide to pick up, you can just click on the phone icon in the top left to open the call again. Number 7. This is the option to customize your control center. Go into settings to control center and add and delete the controls that you want. Also it is possible to add an integrated version of Shazam to this control center by adding sound recognition. Number 8. This is for those of us who missed the home button we had on previous phones. Go into the settings to accessibility, then touch and then assistive touch. A button will appear where you can put it anywhere in the screen. The options here are really endless. You can keep the settings as they are, but you can also customize a single tap. For example, set it up for home screen. And the double tap option is set it up for reasons. This way you can use this function to replace the home button. Finally, number 9. This is a function that I'm very excited about, but that is not quite there yet. That is the picture in picture function. Go into the settings, then the general, then picture in picture to turn it on. The apps that support this function, like Disney Plus and Apple TV, will be able to continue playing a video when you leave the app. You can move and resize the mini player and even hide it to the side if you want. The big downside about this is that it doesn't work with all video players. Most importantly, it doesn't work with YouTube. There is a way around it by opening YouTube in Safari, but in my experience it doesn't run smoothly. I think and I hope it is only a matter of time before this function will be available for all apps. Now that were my top tips for the phone part. As I've said, a second video is on its way, where the focus will be on all the cool camera features and tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful to you. If it was, a big thumbs up would be really appreciated. Let me know down in the comments which of these tips you liked most and if you have any tips that weren't included in this video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I upload new videos every week.